What's going on everyone? So in today's video, we're fishing in Pescadero. We're trying to uh, find the creek, the outlet, or inlet, whatever it's called. But uh, yeah, so far we just got this spot. I think we're gonna go right out here to that rock. Try to throw some lures out there and some squid. But yeah, so hopefully we get some. We're gonna try to go over here and go on this trail. I try to see if we can find that inlet, because I'd rather fish the creek. But yeah, we'll see what uh, we can find. Uh, we finally found Pescadero Creek. Here's Highway 1 up here. Got the bridge that comes over. And the Pescadero Creek is down there. This is the inlet. Found this little wall area. It's kind of deep. I mean, you can see the bottom, but towards the middle, it's kind of harder to see. So this is Highway 1 again. Alrighty, so we're gonna throw our lures out there. Let's see if we can get, here's the beach area. Well, let's cast out. Are you just gonna cast out? This is the inlet in Pescadero. And we're going to cast over now. He's got a squid on there. It's not like super deep, but super deep, excuse me. But the water comes in from there. So, oh, he hit the rock. That might be good because it ricocheted off. So it's close to the rock, so that's good. All right, let's see what he gets. All right, so my dad made this pole holder. Made out of wood. And then you just stack the wood. He's got his ball sitting there. And he's out in the water right there. There's like a cave over there on the other side. That's where the water comes in from the ocean, so. It's probably be the first place that's gonna get high tide. High tide's in like two hours, so. Yeah, here's the setup again. Alrighty. This is the spot we're fishing at. There's a cave right there. And then the water comes up from the ocean. Right here. And it goes up the creek. And that's the bridge. Highway 1 right there, and then it goes up the creek. He said he felt the hit. Will it on? Come on, women, get it. That's why he never catches fish, dude. This right here, because it takes so long to reel in. That's why he never lands a fish. I can't say much because I don't really catch fish either. But when I hook onto something, damn sure I'm getting it in. Just reel it in, see what you got. Just reel Just reel it in, dude. Like, come on, man. Just keep reeling, dude. Why are you reeling so slow? He always tells me, oh, it's crazy. Ha! He just wanted to keep reeling, dude. Nah, nah. Is it as cast on the spinning reel? Oh, not a good start. Not a good start. Water's coming in. Get this back set up. Make sure the bail is open. 
whips it out there. Where do you even go? Huh? At least it went out to the right. We couldn't see it. Yeah, we'll try. I'm just gonna swing it out. Checking his bail so he doesn't fling the leader off. Yeah, don't want to lose the leader. Done that a few times. Pretty much in the rocks. Got a little small guy. I don't know what it is. I got a little fish. There's a little bullhead I cut. Release him. There he is. In the water. Look, he just buried himself. He just buried himself in the water. Muscles or whatever? Are those clams? Muscles. Either hold this or can you just get off real quick? Figure it off? Yeah, because I'm holding the camera too. It's supposed to be all up on the shore. Yeah. You stop speaking. Yeah. Are you okay? Alright, since it's shallow water. Since it's shallow water. I have the casting jig on there. It's a half ounce. So you can see right there. It's got like these little feather things. And then I got a a Ned rig. Like rattles. I don't know if you can hear that. It's got a hook. We gotta um once we go up the creek, I gotta push this barb down. It's gotta be a barbless hook. It's got that a few times. Got that same setup as always. The Zeko Ozark Trail, the Baycaster. This water's really clear. You can see your see your lure in the water. with the current. Alright, nothing on that one. The thing you gotta be careful with is the edge. It just gives out like that. I can't walk too close to the edge. I'm gonna try down here. I, mean, I feel like you would see fish in here though. Just like a little. I think mean, I can see my lure in there. I don't know, man. I should try casting out. And my dad said this is where the steelhead come through, like in the fall time. They said it gets uh, four feet at the high tide today. So we'll see. Check back in when we go up the creek a little bit. All right, we found the new spot. There's the bridge. We're on the other side now. I don't know if you guys can see, but it drops down at least like two feet. So out there it's gonna be deeper obviously. Let's give it a few casts with this one.
already. Just retrieve it slow. This one I wish I had the two pull holders. So I could just set one right here. We can use that piece of wood for now. For a pull holder. I always find seaweed wherever I go. The knife? There's a putter right there. Let's try this way. That's all, that's it. Cut off the leader? You cut off the leader or? Oh, for the bait. Oh, yeah. I'll get a few. I got throw a lighter lure out here. Yep, that's it, where'd you go? Get reel on the green pole. I'm doing the video. Reel on the green pole. I'm gonna move spots. Really wish I brought my white pole. Cause this uh this pole, I don't know if it says on here. Just a uh, medium action, seven foot two. As you can see, the tip really bends on this one. But if I brought the white one, it wouldn't be as bad. Okay, so we're gonna move over there. And I'll show you guys when I cast out. Uh, I'm gonna try this lure up a little bit. Cause it's getting a little deeper. I just checked, it's almost three feet right now. It's gonna get up to four. Okay, so the fish will start to come in through there. The ocean, and then they'll come through. And I just set this out here. Cause let the current move the lure for me. There we go. Yeah, that cave? A little while ago, there was water coming through there. Yeah, I can see my lure in the bottom of the water. So if there was a fish, I could see it hit it. And also, if there's a fish, I could just drop stride right onto him. So I'm getting a lot better with the aim, so it just takes practice. Yeah, my dad moves the pole holder because the water's starting to come up. Give it one more cast and then I'm gonna throw some bait out here. Some squid. We tried to get the sand crabs, but we couldn't find any on the, the beach, like when the water was going out. I'm gonna throw some squid out there. All right, we got the squid on there. My dad's out there by the rocks. So, I'm gonna cast out towards the middle right here. You don't really need to cast out, you just literally drop it. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit. Just so it's like close to the rocks. Like in between the rocks in the middle. Tighten this up. And I always hit this little switch on the back. Just so it rotates like that. A lot easier. Then your, your tension, or your, what is it called? Your tension is still tight. Anyways. So there's a two pole set up. I'm out to the left. My dad's out to the center. Yeah, hopefully we get a bite. Tide's starting to come up, so. Yeah. This guy's got waders on, just walked across the creek. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. You 
catch anything? No? No. <laughs> I know that all too well. I'm gonna to try to cast out a little more straight, like a little more out of the uh, inlet. Make sure the bail's open. That was a good cast. I'm just gonna hold it. So if I feel a bite, because I doubt there's like sharks and stuff out here, so they're not just gonna take it. So I'm going to hold it so if I feel the bite, I can just set the hook. Alright, so it's about ankle deep right now. I'm going to just wait for it to go out. Alright, it's starting to go out. So I can just get as far as I can. And just whip it out there. Nice. I got past like the second set of waves. All the way to the end of my spool. So that's as far as I can go. All right. Oh, all the way to the knees. This water is freezing. But hopefully we can catch something. So I really need a fish. Just felt the bite on there. Can't tell if there's something on there. But I felt something nibbling at it. It's kind of, took a long time to come in. Nope. Man, I swore so I felt something t tap on it. Anyways, we'll do the same thing. Go as far as I can out there with the tide going out. There we go. In between the second. Perfect. So the waves are coming in. Oh, man. And my bait's right at the bottom of the, the waves. Look at the rocks out there. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's crazy. Yeah, hopefully you feel that again. I'll set the hook faster. Are right, we gonna try the lure out here a few more times? Should I drop it right in the little deep end by the rocks? Yeah, the tide's coming up pretty fast. Eventually the water will come into the sand edge and make them all smooth like this one. I see it gets smooth and then it's all jagged. All right, try again. Try this side. Jumping in the water. I'm just gonna jig it. You see, the water comes up over the edge. It's coming up. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the cave across, there's water coming through. I'll right, give it one more. I'll try up, up the creek. Water's getting deeper before I could see the bottom. Now I can st still see it, but it's like harder to see. We can still see where like the seaweed is and stuff. So in this video, I don't think we'll be getting too much seaweed. If I could aim right. All right, you guys probably see my lure in the water. Hey, one more to the rocks. Bounce it off the rocks in the water. Let it sink to the bottom. Yeah, eventually, well, hopefully, fish will start to come through here. Maybe to eat those sand crabs or whatever's in here. Maybe little mussels on the side. And hopefully, a lure. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna keep casting out. If I get a bite, I'll quick this back on. How are we gonna cast out on the bait caster? We got bait on the bait caster. Can you believe it? Uh, 
Alright, what I think I'm going to go for, since it's not really deep right here, uh, probably a little farther out from the rocks, like in the tip. Oh shit. Oh shit, hold on. Before you always got to adjust it to the bait. Almost messed up right there. I think that's a good setting. I got the brakes at like four, four or five. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. And then I set the tension so where it drops pretty slow. Yeah, so we got a piece of squid on there, the tail. Now I'm trying to get it out like at the point of the rocks right there, right in front. So swing it. Alright, that's exactly where I wanted to be. Perfect. 